Thank you for being with me here tonight. I'm so excited to be able to join you this evening in uh, enjoying the special treat of Project Trio. This is a group that I have been looking forward to bringing to Seattle for a long time. I've known Greg and Eric since I was at school at the Cleveland Institute of Music, where they were as well. And I saw the three of them along the, with Peter, the total group, together for the first time at Cafe Vivaldi in New York when I first moved there from Seattle. I believe it was late 2008, perhaps early 2009, and this evening has been on my mind ever since. I was incredibly captivated by their, <laughs> it was the first time I'd ever seen uh, Peter and the Wolf and actually enjoyed it since I was a kid. <laughs> um, speaking as someone who'd seen it many, many times, and I was just blown away by their creativity and their ability to kind of work out how to be living uh, making something that could be could be a dual style or a dual life instead be something that's completely its own thing and totally organic and just another step in the line of great creativity that uh, our musical tradition has. So for me, this is chamber music of the 21st century and I'm very excited that they're here tonight. Before I ask them to come out, though I wanna remind you that we have one more concert on June 21st. And we've done something similar. Uh, two years ago, we had a collaboration with the Seattle Youth Symphony Orchestra, and they had current players and recent alumni joining uh, mentors from various orchestras in the, in the city, and we did all string orchestra works. Um, this time, we're doing it again with the added added benefit, I would say, added great thing that all of the works that you'll hear in June are by living composers. I think it's incredibly exciting and important that young musicians see what their musical future could look like. And this is very, uh, I think, powerful and uh, profound experience for many of us who were on the stage last time. So I hope to see you in June for, I think we're doing six works, including the world premiere of a piece by Greg Kaler, a jazz pianist, jazz and classical pianist in New York City. So. With that, uh, I will leave you in the hands of Project Trio. Thank you again for joining us, and thank you for your support of Town Hall Seattle. <laughs>
with Peter, this is Eric and Greg, and, uh, and it's so nice to be back in Seattle and to be back in Town Hall. Um, you know, we were talking about one of our earliest memories was actually playing a concert right here. Um, I don't know how many years ago it was, but it's so nice to be playing in this wonderful space, and thank you all so much for coming out. Uh, the first piece that we played for you was an original work. It was an homage to the great Django Reinhardt, the father of French gypsy jazz, and that piece is called Jang Gish. And then we stole from the greatest composer in the history of music, the great Ludwig von Beethoven, and then we played another work of our own called Classique. Um, you know, we met at Classical Music Conservatory, and uh, we grew up playing uh, classical music, but after hours, we would get together, and we would like to play all different styles of music. And um, one of our favorite things about going to New York City is, in New York, uh, you can go out on the street and play, you can go to the parks and play, you can play on the subways. It's such a nice place to go play music, and this next piece uh, was actually written in one of the great parks of New York City, Great Washington Square Park, so I hope you enjoy this tune. This piece is called Sweet Pea. Actually, it's a very much a family kind of thing. I started playing the cello when I was three years old. And when I was three, I always heard my older sister, Raja, practicing her cello. And uh, as I grew up, that was how I learned how to play, is by having people who were better than me uh, to look up to and be inspired by. And uh, when we got to college, that's where the three of us met in Cleveland. I had beautiful hair back then. 
And, uh, you know, it continued on. Uh, in Cleveland at that time, there were so many talented cellists that all of our levels uh, went up because of all of the great people that were around. And uh, so we'd like to invite your leader, your fearless leader, Joshua Roman, to the stage. And uh, he was at school with us. Give him a hand. So uh, we thought we'd uh, include him on uh, one of our favorite tunes. This is kind of inspired by Indian classical music. It's a cool raga-inspired tune that I named after my sister Raja. So here it is with the help of Josh. This is Raga Raja. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Seattle. I'm actually originally from Seattle. Uh, I was born and raised here. And I, I moved away in 1995 where I met these dudes in Cleveland. I went to college and I never really came back. But I thoroughly enjoyed growing up in Seattle. Uh, and uh, of many of the wonderful things I learned growing up in Seattle, uh, one was uh, the art of street performing. I learned at a young age that if I pulled my instrument out and put my case out, people would give me money. And this blew my mind, I couldn't believe it. Uh, I had the young and cute thing working for me at first, so I didn't have to practice too much, uh, but that quickly went away and I learned I needed more tricks. And so um, I learned at a young age through street performing uh, to program lots of diverse works, to cast a wide net, if you will. Uh, and find the common thread. And so I think it's time maybe that we slow it down a bit. Take it down. And so this one we're gonna we're gonna bring it down, bring the energy down a little bit. And this is an original chill song that we wrote. A slow jam, if you will. And it's called the slow berry jam. I kid you not.
Thank you. You know, uh, we've been fortunate, you know, we've been, been able to play music, play our own music, and travel all over the world playing music. We've been as far as Australia, and Hong Kong, and Russia, and all over Europe, and all over the United States. And one place we've never been, though, is South America. And so, we thought, great thinkers that we are, we thought that if we uh, were to come up with some South American music, perhaps we'd be invited. We have some South American music now. We have not received the invite just yet, but we're going to keep at it and hopefully get down there. We learned that in Brazil, there is a, uh, a style of music called choro music. And this music features the flute and uh, the guitar and the drums. And so we've taken these sounds, these choro sounds, and we've uh, arranged it for the Project Trio. And this is a, uh, a Brazilian folk piece called Andre de Sapato Novo, or Andre's New Shoes. I hope you enjoy actually a random road in Cleveland, in Little Italy. And so this suite is sort of built on these uh, crazy ideas. The first movement is a puzzle. And uh, the second movement is a beautiful adagio. And the third movement is a tone poem about a chicken fight. 
but no actual chickens were harmed in the composition of this piece. And it is called Palea de Gallos. So here it is, the Random Roads Suite.
made it to college. We found the perfect college for people like us, though, music college, where all you study is music. Perfect. But we got into college. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Uh, and uh, we're pretty good students, you know. But we started hanging out outside of class. You know what I'm saying? A little too much. So uh, we decided to go to the library and check out all of the amazing music written for the flute and the cello and the double bass, only to find that for some reason this ensemble has been neglected throughout time. <laughs> so this is a mixed blessing. That means the bar is low, right? You know what I'm saying? And uh, we got our act together, but you know, it didn't come easy. Uh, we've had a lot of fun writing our own music uh, and arranging music. And uh, since we're in charge, the sky's the limit. We can really choose whatever we want to. Uh, and they got this thing. Uh, we don't, for the jazz kids, they call it the fake book or the real book. They call it both things, funny enough. And if you open this thing, it's got all these charts and these chord changes. And the ones with two pages are always by Charles Mingus. And we learned a great two pager. We're going to play it for you today. This is Charlie Mingus's great, The Fables of Fabus.
Actually, the greatest children's story ever written by the great Prokofiev. Prokofiev, of course, with the fabulous Peter and the Wolf, something we all grew up with. And, um, you know, we've been dedicated to education for quite some time. We love going out to the schools. And, um, and we developed this going out there and just playing for young people. Now, we have projectified this piece. We have plucked Peter from Russia. We have brought him and his friends to beautiful Brooklyn, where we live. Uh, right on Prospect Park is where we set this piece. And so, I think... Yeah, Prospect Park, yeah. absolutely. Anybody else? Thank you, thank you. Really? No. And, um, <laughs> it's a beautiful place, thank you. And um, I hope you enjoy, I think you'll recognize some of these characters. This is Prokofiev's Peter and the <laughs>
side of the park. Oh man, that's Grandpa again. What does he want this time? Peter stands up, turns to that wolf and says, Hey, wolf! Come and get me. <gasps>
befriended that wolf. And all's good in the city of Brooklyn. The end. that used to bring us to all of the lessons and performances and put instruments in our hands. And so, we are some lucky dudes, but we are hardworking dudes. And I knew, I knew that if I made it to the fourth grade and got an instrument, I could join the band. And I thought that was rad. And I didn't know anything about instruments. You know how it goes. Me and my mom had a powwow and we chose the flute. Uh, and uh, I didn't know anything about the flute. It's a pretty cool instrument. And uh, before you know it, uh, music wasn't enough in school. I needed those lessons. And I joined the Seattle Youth Symphony Orchestra. I went to Maristone Music Festival. And I had a life of classical music, which I cherished until I became a teenager. And then I wasn't sure if classical flute was the thing for a guy like me, right? So of course, this is before the internet. I asked my mom if she knew of any cool flute music. And she'd heard of a rock band fronted by a flute player. And I got tickets. And I saw him right downtown here. I saw Jethro Toll back in 1992. And it blew my mind. And I gotta say, I ain't never played the flute the same way since. So in honor of Jethro Toll's complete awesomeness, we would like to do Project Trio's version of Jethro Toll's version of J.S. Bach's version of a beret.
you very much. So we have one more piece to play for you this evening. Um, before we play, I really want to thank you all again so much for being here. I want to thank everyone at Town Hall. We've had such a great stay here. Um, Josh and everybody has been so wonderful. So thank you so much for having us. Uh, after the show, we're going to be out front shaking hands. We've got some CDs, and we'd love to say hi to all of y'all. Um, this last piece is a dance tune. It's an original tune. Uh, we hear these sounds on the streets of New York all the time. Uh, you hear a lot of salsa music booming from cars and from bodegas on the street. And so this is a salsa tune and it is called The Bodega. Thank you very much. Thank you. 